podcast. Uh, that's Chuck. I'm Josh. This is Stuff You Should Know, the game show version. There's no prizes. Um, there's not much to see. Just defeat. There's definitely no Plinko. It's a... Uh, Sad. It's not, there's not a lot to it, but <laughs> don't press stop. Just watch, okay? Um, hey, at the very least, it'll just be a couple of minutes out of your life. Right, right exactly. Okay. Uh, it seems like way more than that, but it's, it's all it is. Sure. Um, instead... Just join us as I have 60 seconds to um, to start this stopwatch, which I haven't started yet, um, that, that will allow me to teach Chuck something that he really doesn't know, and then he's going to tell me what he learned, and then I'll grade him. Even though really I should be graded, I think. Maybe both of us should. Okay. We'll talk about adding that later on. Sure. Okay, so uh, Chuck, yes. post-production stopwatch, do you want to start it? Click, click. Okay, so Chuck, yes. um, I'm going to tell you about... Photic sneeze. Have you ever walked out in a bright sunlight and just started sneezing? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so you're part of about one-third of people who have that reaction. It's called the photic sneeze reflex, and no one has any real idea of why it happens, but we have a pretty good hypothesis. All right, let's hear it. You have this thing called the uh, trigeminal nerve, and that is responsible for producing the sneeze reflex when it's irritated. Trigeminal nerve. Okay. Um, the trigeminal nerve is right next to the optic nerve, which is in part responsible for telling your brain to shut your eyes when it's hit by a burst of sunlight. Right? Let's see where this is going. Okay. So what they think is that when you are hit by a hard burst of sunlight, your um, trigeminal nerve is irritated by that uh, electrical impulse. So not only do you shut your eyes, you also produce a sneeze. Right? They think that that's the reason why people sneeze when they enter the sunlight. And not only that, from just impromptu studies, they found that it's autosomal dominant, which means you only need one parent with a copy to get it yourself. To get it yourself. You, it was under the buzzer, overlaid under the buzzer. So it counts. Under, it's, it's what counts. It counts. That's what I'm saying. What you got. All right, photic uh, sneezing, Josh, is when uh, it's a, I don't know about a phenomenon, but it happens. Sure. When people go out in the sun sometimes in the bright light, they might sneeze. Apparently, it, uh, it's happened to me. And that means I represent about 33% of the population. Give or take. Give or take. That's definitely correct. And uh, what's going on here, they have a hypothesis that there is a, uh, a, a thingy near the optic nerve called the trigeminal nerve. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to cost you. And, uh, and that triggers your sneeze reaction. So they think that when you go out in the bright sun, your optic nerve uh, reacts in such a way that it also triggers this neighbor nerve. Mm -hmm. And that's why you sneeze. Yeah. 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 Okay. What about genes? I think your parents, only one of your parents has to have this gene in order for you to, to uh, adopt this. And right. This. Which means it's... It means it's uh, pretty neat. It's 50-50. Not too bad. So uh, <laughs> trigeminal nerve uh -huh. is the nerve that produces the sneeze reflex. I even said that in my head like five times. And it's autosomal dominant, which means you okay. only need... One parent having a copy will produce the thing in 50% of his or her offspring. Gotcha. So that probably is why you sneeze when you go out in the sun, which is a pretty big deal. We just explained that in pretty short order. Yeah. And Chuck did pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give him a B. Solid B. Great. You did good. You understood the concept. You knew what was going on. Um, you had a little that. So that, you're good. I've always got that. that. That equals a B. Yes. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for not pressing stop. Goodbye.